Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna make this quick because it's really windy and I feel like there's gonna be a lot of background noise. So most of this won't be me talking, but I wanted to make a video on decorating for Christmas, at least at my dad's house. I might make another video when I decorate at my mom's house, but I just wanted to show you my process of decorating and you can kind of see the process before the end result. And let's get to decorating. So now that it's getting to the evening, I just finished and I wanted to show you before it got too dark. But we have the garland that is wrapped around this pole here with some uh, regular yellow lights. And then on the roof we have, these are actually LED lights, but they're multicolored and you can see that they blink as well. It's a nice simple look instead of the icicle lights because we have done the icicle lights in the past. But I we did that last year for the first time and I really like the look of that. Going over to the side, this is the door that we use the most, so I wanted to put something here. Just some nice simple garland, and then these lights are red, yellow, and frosted. So they're a little bit of a different look than just the traditional white lights. And I will mention too, we have a mix of LEDs and regular incandescents. Along the back fence over here, we have these snowflake lights wrapped with regular white lights to connect the two of them. And I love that look because you can see the snowflakes so well against the fence there. And then past my car over here, just a few more different spots. I like to um, spread out the lights as much as I can. We have the Colorado blue spruce covered in more of like a bluish light. I thought that went really well together. And you can see that these lights, they're LEDs, but they have a little bit of a different shape to the bulbs from the traditional type. Uh, these also are a different shape because these are kind of a snowflake type of light, small snowflake light for the limelights. And then the last thing we have here is the tree. This took a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. All right, so I'm actually back in my dorm now, but I just wanted to show you guys the process, at least for me when I decorate for the holidays. I like to spread out the lights as much as I can throughout the yard, and I will throw in some pictures actually on the screen right now of what my mom's looks like. A little more of a simple design from what I did at my dad's house. We kind of go for like an all white look, but that's just what we decided to do there, and I didn't film any of that, but I love decorating for the holidays. Even when I do it by myself, it's really enjoyable. Um, but it was frigid that day. It was super, super cold. Um, and I had to actually go inside a couple times for my hands to warm up because I didn't have the proper gloves. So besides that, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.